neighbor Hampson Cody and I wrote two collections of music, one called Chasing Summer and one called Sea Breeze. Both are available in hard copy and download at tropicalshores.net. Today we're going to take a quick look at harmony using the popular Caribbean standard Marianne. To start out, a few basic concepts. Single notes construct melodies and multiple notes played at the same time construct harmonies. This can be accomplished on one instrument or across multiple instruments. Tenor pan, or lead pan as you see here, is the highest voice in the band and usually plays the melody. Learning a melody on steel pan is challenging by itself, but with a little practice you can add a harmony note for a stronger sound. To start out, I'm going to be playing Mary Ann using single notes so you can hear the melody. Accompanying yourself, however, you can add some of the harmonies. With some understanding of music theory, you can choose most of your harmony notes straight off a chord chart. For example, Marianne uses F, C, and B flat triads. A triad is a three note chord. Triads represent one of four qualities major, the first, third, and fifth note of a major scale in any key. In this case, F. Major triad would sound like this. That's F, A, and C. They are the first, third, and fifth notes of an F scale. A minor triad, which we won't see in this song, are the same notes with a flat third. So it would be F, A, flat, and C. A diminished triad would be the same notes with a flat third and a flat fifth. That would be F, A flat, and C flat. An augmented triad would be the same original notes using a sharp fifth. So instead of F, A, and C, it would be F, A, and C sharp. In this case, the triads are all major chords, F, C, and B flat. In an F triad, which you've already seen, we have the root on an F, the third on an A, and the fifth on a C. The root of a C chord is C, the third is E, and the fifth is G. The root of a B-flat chord is B-flat, the third is D, and the fifth is F. Now I'm going to show you harmony at work. I took the melody from Marianne and added notes from the triads to be able to accompany myself using harmony. If you really want to solidify your understanding of the chords, pick a rhythm and play through the harmonic part from your piece. I like to lock into a rhythm like this one. One, two, ready, go. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. A little faster. Two, and three, 
four, one, two, and three, four, one, and four, and four, and four. Here's what that sounds like. One, two, a one, two, three, four. An inversion of a chord is simply flipping it. For example, F A C, you would move the F up the octave and play A C F. Since I'm only using two mallets, I'm going to play the root of each chord on beat one and then answer with the first inversion with the third on the bottom. This time, I'm assigning the rhythm across a broken chord, meaning each note is played independently, and I might even play the three notes of each chord in any order. Here's my repeated rhythm, one, two, and, and four. These practice techniques can be applied to virtually any song. I hope this gives you some ideas as you move forward with Marianne and with other tunes.